It's our pleasure to be here today with Guido Van Rossum, inventor of the Python programming language. I stayed relatively close to ABC and ABC's ideals just sort of naturally led to a language that is easy to learn and easy to teach. I was in a situation where my two choices were on the one hand shell, which is easy and nice for simple scripts, but sort of limited if you want to do anything complex, especially at, in those days when it was like well before the bash, it was the original born shell that I mostly had to deal with. And then on the other hand, the C language, which you can use to do anything you want, including implementing your own programming language, but it all takes a lot of effort and it's easy to uh, make mistakes that only uh, sort of come out much later after you've uh, already implemented a lot of code, you'll realize, oh, I should have used a different kind of data structure. Mm -hmm. Start over from scratch. That original computer programming for everybody idea in part was just a ploy to get funding from certain corners. If, if I may admit to that. And one of the reasons that in the end not much happened was that the funding turned out to be much harder to obtain than just writing a proposal and uh, winning some contest, which we, we all did successfully, and then getting the funding turned out to be still an impossible hurdle. I know plenty of teachers who have been teaching Python to high school students at some level. I heard recently that somewhere in England uh, there is a national initiative that's at least considering, I don't know how sort of how much that actually became a, a definite plan to uh, teach Python to all high school students there, which is a great idea, a wonderful experiment. And no matter what the outcome, uh, a lot will be learned from that experiment.